morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and Lord, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Man of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confess and proclaim on this day, not by speaking, but by dying. Grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. He loved it. This is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not 
When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentations, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We say that pride is always the root of all sin. It stands at the top of the capital for deadly sins, doesn't it? And we know that always happens with you and me. When pride enters our heart, then we know that we're doomed if we do not get and turn away. Get away from it and realize that it is seeping into our very being, pride. It happened with our first parents, didn't it? In the Garden of Eden, in which the author of Genesis describes so beautifully. He describes it accurately. He allows us to understand the deceit of the enemy. The deceit of the enemy, which will turn something very beautiful into something very horrific. My brothers and sisters, on this fourth day of the octave, we look at the Feast of the Holy Innocents. And in the Gospel that we just heard from this section of Matthew's Gospel, it saddens us that pride has filled the heart of Herod. He didn't want anyone to take his position, did he? He was fearful that the newborn king would take his place and he would no longer be the one in charge, the one with power. He ordered the massacre of all the boys <laughs> born two years and under so that he would be assured that the baby Jesus would be killed. But here again, the angel came to Joseph. I think we're beginning to realize how often these spiritual beings come to the aid of Our Lady and of Saint Joseph. And the angel said to Joseph, take the baby with his mother and flee to Egypt. Herod is set out to kill the baby. You know, we have a stained glass window in this church of the flight into Egypt, believe it or not, it's back there in the corner upstairs. And I look at it often as I stand at this pulpit and preach. Look at the beautiful stained glass windows of the flight into Egypt, of course, of Mary and, of course, of the Annunciation. Boy, this beautiful house, this Church of St. Mary is so beautiful. It really helps us to 
dive into the mystery of the Holy Family. We call this place the, the carpenter's house, or the house of Nazareth, because of its wood, and because of how much it teaches us, how much there's warmth here, and there's love here, not only by those who participate in the sacred mysteries, but also all of our visitors. How beautiful they feel it. They feel the presence of Almighty God here. Well, today on this Feast of the Holy Innocents, this beautiful place is saddened. It's saddened by the mark of pride, the pride of her, that those little boys were killed because Herod wanted always to be in charge. And only God himself is charged with the care of all of us. As we look at the poinsettias today, I know my mind is going right to the holy innocents. The red color vestments that I'm wearing and the red poinsettias always about the shedding of blood for the sake of good. Not only do the red poinsettias tell us of the, the birth, the death of Jesus Christ, but it tells us about all the martyrs that really died for the faith. St. Stephen, we celebrated on Saturday and the Holy Innocents today. The beauty of the faith is remarkable, but the beauty of this faith is also tainted by those who reject it and those who are inflated by their own ego. By their very lives, not by their statements. They died for Christ. And now they stand arrayed in glory with Him whom they have died for. May you and I each day continue to die to sin and to rise with Him. And may we enjoy this octave of Christmas the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. As those little boys celebrated his birth in time, and now they celebrate with him through all eternity. Thank you. 
and very dear to all of us. We pray for his soul and all the souls of the departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we place these petitions before you. If they are according to your holy will, we ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Sodomus, 
John, Paul, Constance, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And formed by divine teaching, 
say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. 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 
body of Christ. The body of Christ. <coughs> Perpetual novena in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us to the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in this consolation 
Now, Lord, we with you. And with your spirit. Now, Lord, God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 